Hi, hello. Um, this is your three month update on the SOT treatment that I've been posting about for Lyme disease and hopefully helping out all the other tick-borne infections and other viruses and infections uh, that are in my body. I was supposed to do a two month uh, update video, but too much was happening and I just, I just dropped that fall. And I know, you know, when I have been on YouTube searching for people posting their SOT journey, it seems like a lot of people post in the beginning and then fall off. And it's a bit frustrating because you want to keep up and know, like, did things get better? Did things get worse? <clears throat> so gonna still keep trying to be consistent, even if there's some inconsistency. <laughs> um, okay. So I think in my other videos, if you've watched them, if you're here for that, then you'll know like the first month I had a pretty big reaction to the SOT, like very um, triggered, like with my immune system, like could feel right away within 48 hours that a lot was going on. My body just felt like it started to really fight, I guess, in a way. and. Uh, felt like feverish and fatigued and joint pain and lymph nodes and ears and jaw and inflammation and just a ton of stuff. Thankfully, like, it didn't trigger any kind of um, maybe neuro, as much neuroinflammation, like with anxiety and my nervous system feeling too off. Um, though I will say, like, after the big um bucket of physical symptoms did come the emotional symptoms of just like a ton of anger a ton of frustration and it very much just felt um completely connected to receiving the sot and maybe my body fighting the pathogen and um a lot of people talk about lyme rage and different emotions connecting to these entities <laughs> and I absolutely believe that it's true um so that was really interesting and lasted like three weeks like just a lot of grief a lot of um a lot of anger and it was really hard it was probably just as hard as the physical so I just had to be super patient with myself and um you know I think it was helpful because I started a breathwork facilitator program and I think that that's been really important um, while my body's processing the SOT and um, really bringing the breath online and diving really deep into self and practice and um, letting go of a lot that my body's holding on to. So yeah, I might start to incorporate some of all of what I'm learning and how it could pertain to my health journey in future videos. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, so physical stuff, mental, emotional stuff, and then everything just started to chill out. And actually I had some really great days. <laughs> so that should give you hope, maybe. Um, yeah, I had some days where I just was like, oh my gosh, like I feel myself. I feel normal. I have energy. I'm not thinking about my health. I just feel clear and calm and uh, my joints don't hurt and there's not like this overwhelm of like underlying fatigue or, um, you know, all the symptoms that can come. My biggest one was my, my head, the pain in my head for so long. Like, so just that online with not having any type of head pain and I was sleeping at the moment, it was, it was a big, big deal. Um, you know, I felt like I had this moment of like, this is working. This is definitely working for me and all the other tools and modalities that I have put so much time and energy into, like all of it's coming together. So that felt really great. <laughs> and then something kind of shifted uh, where I just started not sleeping, which was a huge problem in my health crisis, <laughs> which I had never ex really experienced before. Um, I, I really didn't sleep for maybe like a year, like truly like 
a couple hours a night and even with that I wouldn't call it like full real sleep like my body just felt like it was vibrating or I was um, just being woken up startled and scared and um, this like rush of cortisol constantly in my body for so long so whenever I don't sleep now it, it definitely triggers some anxiety but this go around I, I tried to just remind myself like you've been here before <laughs> you can get through this again it's not as bad as before your body feels different your mind feels different like it's okay to not sleep as much but I do feel like it could possibly be the SOT just kind of waving and doing its work on different levels and it maybe triggered um, my system in a way that just threw my sleep out of balance so um, that lasted like a good few weeks <laughs> and that was hard and that's probably one of the reasons why I didn't make the two month update video um, and I think if you've been on this journey, anytime something does come up like that, you do wonder, like, is this going to have a reaction, like, and cause another symptom? And, um, that's where I think, like, brain retraining and all of that really comes into play, like, really talking yourself through the process of, like, I'm okay, <laughs> I'm safe, um, Things are different now. I don't have to associate that with all the other scary stuff, but it's it's really hard not to. Um, so I tried my best and it was kind of getting um, just like a lot, just frustrated, like doing all the things, all the sleep, bedtime rituals and not really getting anywhere. Um, but then I got the flu. <laughs> Well, my son got the flu and then I got the flu and um, that was really rough and also if you've been on a healing journey like this like it's scary to get sick because you just don't know what's gonna happen I really feel like um, my Lyme disease and all these other infections and just yeah everything got triggered intensely in 2021 from having COVID in 2020 and I just saw my immune system just kind of start to go downhill and then lots of personal stress and um, just my bucket kept getting more full <laughs> um, as time went on but I do think that COVID hindering my immune system was kind of a huge part of it um, so yeah, anytime there's a sickness now, it's like the same thing as the sleep thing. It's like, what is this gonna do to me? How is this gonna set me back? Like, am I gonna be able to make it through this and come out, you know, still steps ahead? So the flu uh, was really, really difficult, but I felt like at first I was getting through it okay. And then towards the end of it, I felt some of the uh, scary symptoms that I felt when everything started in 2021. It's like almost like a couple years ago, but really it was like a year ago. Um, I'm sorry, two years ago, almost two years ago. Um, but yeah, um, like I started having some head pain, started having some gut stuff that's not like your normal gut stuff, uh, anxiety. If you have been through any kind of anxiety uh, that's connected to these pathogens or these, these things, like you know that it's a different kind of anxiety. It's not like a mental anxiety. It's very much an alarm inside your body. Something is really wrong. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, and a ton of inflammation. And again, like just feeling that for a day, that was kind of enough to send me into a tiny spiral of like, what if all this stuff comes back? What if it um, interrupts like the work of the SOT? You hear people getting COVID after getting SOT and it kind of destroying, which I don't know how that would work because of the technology of the SOT and how it's working at such a cellular level. Um, 
like a DNA <laughs> level. I don't know how that, how something like COVID could really screw that up too much unless it just really flared a different infection. So it's something to look into. But anyways, I started having symptoms and got really scared because they were pretty severe in that moment. <laughs> And I could feel like this isn't just the flu. This isn't just this thing that I went through. This is really um, tapping into all these other things. So um, thankfully I have tools now and I uh, have supplements and I have self care practices and I have mindset practices and I have um, a different environment and all sorts of things and someone that I'm working with that knows my health journey and can help guide me back to a sense of safety and the fact that things are different now just because these symptoms are triggered doesn't mean you're going to fall into a well of darkness <laughs> doesn't mean that your head's going to hurt again for another year doesn't mean that you're not going to sleep again for another year doesn't like so many things doesn't like yeah it, it's just it's extremely difficult, but I feel like it's so important to have someone in your life that knows your journey that can remind you that you made it out of all those things. You're somewhere different now. Things have changed. You're changed. <laughs> um, and it doesn't have to go back to that place. So that was extremely important um, for me to have. And this was just like maybe like uh, two weeks ago or something that this was going on and I had stopped taking all of my supplements um, just like for my immune system and other supplements to help fight other <clears throat> infections that aren't Borrelia, Bedorfery, Lyme disease, but like Bartonella and things like that. So I had stopped taking all of that and um, I'm slowly getting back on them now and I am uh, I think too, when you have all of these other pathogens in your body and then you get sick, like it can cause uh, different reactions. And what I've been dealing with is, uh, I think, mast cell activation syndrome, <laughs> um, histamine issues, inflammation issues. I think that they're slowly um, just settling down, but I, I just know that like all this is tied in together. So it's it's a little frustrating because I feel like one symptom leaves and then like the sleep and then another thing comes and then you get this other thing and then this other thing comes and it's just an overwhelming journey. And also just stopping all the supplements and starting them again. If you're on a healing holding journey, like you know how much that can be. So my heart goes out <laughs> to anyone who's here because they're, they're experiencing this. Um, another huge thing that was kind of happening with the sleep and then got, I feel like, worse with the, the getting sick and then the flaring of all the other things is like brain fog. Like my brain fog has been off the charts. <laughs> Even making this video, I'm like, my direction is all over the place it seems or it feels <laughs> and just being kind of grounded and present in myself I can feel like there's something in the way and my thoughts are there but just like trying to get them out feels a little funky <laughs> um one thing that has came back is my energy so that's good so I'm at least like trying to get things out even if my brain feels like mush and again, if you're on this journey, the brain fog is really frustrating. Like normally I feel like I can connect dots really well and speak my thoughts clearly in a way that has depth. And um, it's hard when you feel like things are blocking you from making sense um, and just articulating things in a way that uh, are easy for others to digest and yourself. So, I do have some things that I'm taking for brain fog. I've ran out of them, but um, I, I do find that supplements for the brain fog are important. So I'm gonna get back to that. Um, 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna wrap up this video. It's like 15 minutes long and I don't want to talk your ear off, but this is just a really quick update. That's why I think it is important to do month by month. That way you're not trying to cram so much into a small video that's not 30 minutes long. But I guess my summary of all of this is like, it's just a wave. <laughs> this, this journey, I feel so much better than I did a year ago. And it's not all because of SOT, it's because of all the other things that I incorporated. And then I think that SOT is pushing me up the mountain uh, with a ton more support because just having those few days of feeling clear and good it was a big affirmation that this was the right decision. Um, and one more thing is I, um, I did have a phone call with uh, the place who administered the SOT and they said normally people who have such a strong reaction in the beginning end up getting better quicker. So we'll see. <laughs> a lot of people say like six to eight months before they see big changes, um, but I'm hoping that like that conversation was the truth and um i am about to retest i got all my blood work it will test for all of the infections all the things see where my levels and numbers are at i actually have the boxes and i just have been procrastinating and um need to get that done my next appointment to go over all that blood work is in january so that will be good. <clears throat> but again, like, I feel like the way that it's been landing in my body is a wave of up and down, but up. So I'm thankful for that. And I hope that it continues <laughs> and we'll just see what happens. But incredibly thankful that um, there are these tools and these um ways of healing and these options and opportunities and that things can change because a year ago um this time december last year i didn't want to be here anymore <laughs> i was pretty much at rock bottom with my health and um, the way that it was affecting every single part of my life and i didn't feel like there was a way out and I truly started to believe that there was no hope to get better because every single breath, every single second was just surviving, if that. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just felt like I was one of those people that this is it for me. Like I'm going to be one of those people <laughs> that are in the Facebook groups for like 10 years talking about how they just still have never gotten their life back. And um, I feel like I'm proof that that's just not true and that it's possible and thank god and you just have to keep pushing so yeah if you're on this journey my heart really goes out to you if you have any questions feel free to ask and um i'm sorry if this video feels like kind of all over the place the energy it just feels kind of like in the ether at the moment, not so like grounded, but I figured had the time, a lot of you have asked for an update. So hopefully this all made sense. <laughs> um, yeah, I wish you all the best and I love you all. And life is so hard, but it can also be so beautiful. And I think that had you told me a year ago that, you know, it's all on purpose, I would have punched you in the face because suffering that intensely doesn't feel like it should be a thing. And you just don't even care about the lessons or the teachings. But I truly do believe that um, it's for a reason. And if you just are open enough, it can be the ultimate teacher and the ultimate healer and um yeah that's it that's all <laughs> i'm gonna go 20 minutes um i'll see you in a month